Hi guys, my name is Kezo, and today I want to go over uh, the little design tool we have here at Commodity Deposits. If you are uh, purchasing a NOIL, you'll probably see this. Maybe you're actually looking at it right now, and these are some quick instructions. So uh, it'll open to this um, little info bit here. Again, simple instructions, probably read that, and then let's get right to it. Um, and you'll see something like this. Uh, up here are all the color choices. So we got our standard paints in these first two rows. There's just two team paints, just gray and white, team gray, team white. And then uh, decal colors, it's a whole different line because uh, it's the colors of decal material versus gel coats. Um, so well, they are very similar, but there's different names. Um, and then of course, we got the rendering of the canoe down here. Um, there's a design ID. So if you want to do multiple designs, you can scroll left and right. It'll change to design two or three or so on. You can add more. That's just to really compare a few different options if you have a bunch of different ideas. Um, and down here is, is the actual, like this is confirmation. So this is what you're, you're potentially getting. Uh, there's some tr other choices like layup, seat, rudder. Uh, some extra information and then any glass comments and then the submit button is down here that's like what you press when you're all decided ready to go that'll email us and tell us uh this is ready to build um okay so so back up here on colors um you know if you were here in the shop these are the things i would typically explain uh paint actually adds up to a significant portion of the weight of your canoe so the the kind of rules of thumb you know the, the warmer colors the reds oranges yellows um they tend to be the pigments aren't as as i don't know they, they basically do not cover as well so you end up spraying more paint just to make the paint solid versus translucent or even if you know we're trying to make it not too heavy it'll be a little bit more translucent than some of the other cooler colors um and that translates into those being heavier. And then the second row tends to be a little bit lighter. Um, and then, of course, at the, the 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 best sort of lightest color, of course, is team gray. And that's fundamentally a different kind of gel coat that we use. And it allows us to both uh, spray less material and then also skip a tie coat, we call it, um, that bonds to the rest of the carbon fiber. Um, or epoxy and carbon fiber. Um, so it basically the gist of it is if you want a light boat, that's that's how you do it. Um, there's also the two different laminations. So there you got your elite layup and performance layup. Um, if you click on this, there's a bunch of information. Essentially, um, elite is the lighter one. Um, and performance is a little bit heavier, but also more durable than, than elite. So as you play with this, uh, it will update this hall estimate right here. So you can already see the weight difference between performance and elite. And um, there is, there's no like formula calculating this. It's actually a, a sort of a model based off of the last about 1000 boats that we've built. Um, so, which is, I, I geeked out over that. So I'm pretty proud and stoked on that. Uh, it does a reasonably good job. So for example, um, it's kind of a green, beautiful color. We made our first in oil that it tends to be actually relatively heavy. Same thing with um, red, you know, 18.7 um, for a, a lead layup. Whereas now if we go back, uh, put in gray, that's gonna be, you know, in the 16s. Um, this tends to be plus or minus half a pound, um, you know, so that's that's kind of the, the typical range. And that, that tends to come from natural sort of variation of materials. So our foam core, how much resin actually going into the boat uh, and, and then, you know, actually how much paint is applied. Um, okay. So, uh, and, and team gray will be, a, that's the only thing that'll change the overall cost. So it is more expensive, um, mainly, a, a material costs change. Um, and then, uh, you know, basically that cost change is involved if you use it anywhere. Um, it is, a reasonably good way to, you know, uh, the, the hull is a vast majority of the surface area or, or maybe not vast majority, but 60%. So if you want a lighter boat, 
but you still want to do some color. Um, mixing something in on the deck is a good option. Uh, and then decal colors um, can be changed with these, of course. So you can both do matching stickers. And you do have to click on the actual decal, and it should change like that. Um, actually, no, let's we'll make that one silver. Anyway, so actually, might as well do the AVA. <laughs> anyway, so so that's that. Um, again, play with the layup. Uh, choose your seat size. So, um, you know, I use a 28. Um, there's a bunch of information there to kind of guess on that or to uh, make a best estimate on that based off of your height. Um, there's information on the rudder. Typically, we recommend the standard unless you have a lot of kelp to deal with. And then lastly, hit this little edit button and uh, we'd like to add your height, weight, um, t-shirt size and all of that to our order. Uh, if you are over 200, um, we do, uh, well, we can do a Yako modification to make um, almost like a secret force setting. So let us know. Um, and then when you're done, you hit submit and that'll email us and tell us while we're uh, ready for production. Um, what else? Uh, up here, there's these two little buttons. This is simply removing the, the shading. So it's simply a, a rendering. Um, it's not changing anything to do with your paint job. It's just sort of for visualization purposes. Uh, same thing on the backdrop changes from black to gray. Um, that's about it. If you have any questions, leave a comment or feel free to email us. Uh, okay. Bye.